click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we have already studied what exactly is phase rule and how can we apply it. Over here, we'll see certain major advantages and applications of phase rule and in what all systems can we use or apply this phase rule. So now this phase rule studies about the equilibrium points of the heterogeneous systems. Let us see all the advantages of the phase rule. The first one is it applies to both physical systems as well as chemical systems. Physical systems are those systems wherein two reactants or two components are just mixed physically. Chemical systems are those systems where they may react chemically. But phase rule is used to find out the equilibrium in both of them, the physical systems as well as the chemical systems. The second advantage we have of phase rule are the parts which it relies on. It relies on phases, components and degrees of freedom. Phases, components and degrees of freedom are the three points or three properties a phase rule will always look upon in any system. And because all of these three are present in all kinds of systems, whether big or small, whether physical or chemical, it will give us an equilibrium point for each and every system. The third advantage says that the application of the phase rule can be done for any kind of system. The system can be microscopic, macroscopic or even big systems. There are certain systems which are microscopic systems. That means there are microbes present in it or very small particles present in it. But yet we can apply phase rule to that as well. The fourth advantage is we can just find out the degrees of freedom of various systems. So if I have three systems and all these three have almost similar degrees of freedom, then the behavior of these three systems will be similar. Now what do we mean by behavior? Behavior can be the chemical changes or the physical changes. The chemical reaction and the physical properties of all of them will be similar because the degrees of freedom present in them are same or similar. The fifth advantage of phase rule is it works upon three things, temperature, pressure and concentration. And over here, these three variables can actually change the equilibrium of any system of mine. And that is the reason why we can actually see the effect of temperature, the effect of pressure or the effect of concentration on any system of ours. The sixth advantage for the it is it helps in finding out an equilibrium. And if we know the equilibrium points, we can actually find out whether that particular two component system or three component system will stay together for a longer period of time or not. If the equilibrium points are at good temperature and good pressure, that means are at around room temperature or room pressure, we know that at room temperature, both of these components will stay together in this two component system and they will stay together for a longer period of time. And the seventh or the last advantage of it is that phase rule does not work with the nature of the material. Whenever we are talking about the phase rule, we only talk about equilibrium. We talk about phases, degrees of freedoms and components. We do not talk about the physical properties of the components or the chemical properties of the components. And that is the reason why phase rule can be applied to almost all components and all systems. In today's session, we studied about the advantages and the applications of phase rule, how phase rule can be applied to various systems and how it is better than other processes. Since it only works on equilibrium and it does not need the components or the physical and chemical properties of the components. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.